What is up guys, SP coming at you with another OpenEMU tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys where your save files are within OpenEMU and how to transfer a save file from one computer to another. So the first thing that you want to do is go to Go, Option Click, and you're going to see the Library tab pop up. Click Library, click Application Support, OpenEMU, and here's where all your emulators are stored. If you're playing a DS game, it's going to be under Desmume. If you're playing an N64 game, it's going to be under Mupin64+. I'm going to mess with my Fire Red save file, and that's going to be under Visual Boy Advance, because it's a Game Boy Advance game. So definitely know which emulator your save file is located under. And that just might take some searching around, but once you find it, go to Battery Saves, and here's where all my save files are. This holds all the data to the save file for Fire Red, Leaf Green, Emerald, all that stuff. So say I want to transfer this Fire Red version on this old computer to a new one. I'm gonna drag this over to a safe place. I'm gonna just put it to my desktop. And what I recommend doing is putting it either on a flash drive or emailing it to yourself, any way that you can get this onto your new computer. So let's just assume that I've sent this file to my new computer, so as of now, this is the new computer that I want to be playing the game on. What I want to do now is do the exact same process. Go to Go, Library, Application Support, Open Emu, Visual Boy Advance, Battery Saves, and then drag this file into my Battery Save folder. Now, if you guys don't have this, what you're going to need to do, and pay very close attention because it might get confusing, is download the ROM for Fire Red or whatever game that you want to have as new and play that game until you can get to a point where you can save it. Once you've saved it, go into the battery saves folder and the save file will end up here. If it's the same exact name as the file that you've sent over from your old computer, then you're fine. All you need to do is just delete it and then put the old file into the new slot and it'll overwrite all the save data that you had before. But for some reason, if you download a different ROM and it saves it under a different name, what you're gonna need to do is copy the new saved data and then paste it into the file that we've sent over from the old computer, word for word. So say the new save file added like a, I don't know, 1638 or something. And your file that you've sent over was 1636, just a slight variation in the file name. What you're gonna need to do is copy the new save file exactly and paste it over to the new one and then replace it because your new ROM will not read it if it's not saved under its specific file name. So that was just an example of what might happen. If you guys have the exact same ROM, then it should save it under the same name and all you need to do is just replace them. But if this happens, I wanted to bring it up as an as if scenario. So once you launch your game, you will have the new save data under Fire Red, Leaf Green, Emerald, whatever game you're playing, and you should be able to pick up where you left off on your old computer. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up before you head out and subscribe if you haven't. So thank you guys for checking out the video. I'm Espy, and I will see you next time.